Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're a returning subscriber, it's nice to see you again. And if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. So today, what I'm going to show you is how I form my booby eyes for making booby nymphs booby lures. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, I've already got a video on the channel showing you how I form my booby eyes and I've not changed my mind on how I do it. It may not be the best, some people might have a better method and if they have, I would love to know. Just let me know in the comments section below if you've got a better way than what I'm about to show you. Now, I use Gunville cutters, they're from Uphaven Fly Fishing and they come in diameters of 2.8 up to 7 millimeters. Now, they're akin to the old car aerials, sorry us grey bearded folks will remember, we used to use car aerials to cut um, foam cylinders to form booby eyes, but these are purpose built and I'll give you a closer look at them in a second. You'll also need uh, a drill. Now, mine's is a cordless one and I've got it set to drill. So it does hammer, drill, screw, but you want to have it set to drill. And you simply take your uh, cutter, open it up, place it in, lock it into place, and you're ready to go. The other thing it's handy to have close at hand is a little tub of water and all I've got in here is a little bit of washing up liquid and that simply lubricates the tool and then I can cut away till my heart's content. Now if the tubes start to get a little rough as I'm cutting I simply dip it back in the solution of washing up liquid and water and they come out perfect every time. So I use um, again it's from Uphaven fly fishing the HD foam blocks. They're, they're a good solid foam and as I said at the start you can cut them into various diameters to suit your needs. The other thing you would need is something to drill onto. This is just an old notepad with a cardboard backing and I just put that underneath my foam blocks before actually drilling in. One more word of caution before we switch to the other camera is get yourself a pair of old scissors. You don't want to be cutting foam with your brand new scissors that will blunt them really quickly. So please be wary of that. Once you have the diameter cut that you require, simply take some scissors and cut the tube down the center. And what you end up with is two separate halves. Now what I want to do with this is trim it just at the edges. And all I'm doing is moving the tube around in my thumb and forefinger in my left hand while snipping away the sharp edges. And as I finished one end, I just switch it over and complete the other end. And then what you end up with is a rough tic-tac. Don't be too worried about how neat it is because the next stage, we're gonna tidy that right up. So next then, we get our bodkin needle and we simply pop the tic-tac on in the center of the bodkin needle. Now this serves two purposes. The first one is it holds it in place and it will leave a mark in the foam, which I'll use as a center guideline later on in the process. But more importantly, it will stop you burning your fingers when you bring this lighter in. Now you only want to show it the flame very briefly. It doesn't take much. And once you've done that, you can rub it in your fingers and you end up with a perfect little tic-tac ready to tie on to the fly. Okay then, so I've got the fly to this stage. It's a, it's a candy floss mix booby and uh, what I want to do is apply my booby eyes. So how do I do it? Now you'll notice that in the vise, I've put the fly further up the screen than I would usually because quite a bit happens below here. Now this might look like a lot of thread, but actually it's only about an inch and a half, so I've not left myself much room to work with. 
Now, I have my Tic Tac here that I showed you making earlier, and what I'm looking for now is the little hole that I created with my bodkin needle. And what I'm going to do is use that to line up my thread. Now, if I've got it in the middle, when I loop the booby eyes over, like so, it should create two equal balls on either side. Now, I've just wound that on, up, onto the top of the shank, and what I want to do now is in a crisscross motion, I'm going to secure the booby eyes. Now, I usually do four to five turns one way, pull it round, excuse my fingers, and then four to five turns the other way. And then I can simply pull them back and get a few wraps in at the eye. Come in with my whip finish tool. And finish the fly off. Now to secure them in place, I like to use super glue. And all I do with that is I just use this stuff Loctite. It doesn't uh, cause any staining or clouding up. Just come in over the top, little blob, and that'll soak down through the thread. And I also like to add a little blob to the bottom. And then that'll go to the side to dry. And that's the booby eyes on. When I'm away uh, for a few days and I'm going to be doing some fly tying of an evening, I really dislike doing it. I, I like my home comforts, uh, I don't like travelling and tying. But when I do have to do that, what I often do is prepare a number of the Tic Tacs. Now what you'll see in the vise is a little needle there, and I'm just going to use this orange thread because it's what I was using on the fly before. I simply take, before I leave the house, I simply take a number of Tic Tacs, Get them on the needle, one, two, three, I put in a half hitch, there you go folks, that's how I form my booby eyes for tying flies. It's not the only way of doing it, it might not even be the best way of doing it, it's just the way I do it. Now there is another technique, if you're tying hundreds of boobies, then you can do your eyes in the oven. But I would be very careful with the settings you use because you might find all your hard work ends up in a melted mush on some tin foil or worse, your wife's best baking tray. So uh, be very careful if you're going to go down that road and please look for a YouTube video with someone that knows what they're doing with that technique. I certainly don't claim any expertise in the matter. So. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you're getting value, please leave the video a like and I'll see you all next time.